Today I want to show you one of my favorite features for Apple's compressor and that is exporting a GIF slash GIF I don't really care how you say it directly from Final Cut Pro. So I've got my project open and all I'm going to do is push I and O for the in and out points on the timeline to find the exact moment that I want to export. Then all I'm going to do is go on up to file, send a compressor and select new batch. When you first open up Compressor, it's going to have these color bars. Don't worry. Once you select the video that you want, those color bars will go away and it'll give you a live preview. Now it looks like it's going to export the entire video, but it's not. You can see the gray bar here indicates the exact moments that it's going to keep in. And something to take note is that the playhead is not actually always going to be set wherever your in and out points are set. So it's again going to look like it's exporting a different portion, but it's actually going to export the exact selection you made in Final Cut Pro. To export a GIF, all we need to do is come on over to the left side and find the motion graphics presets. Then from there you can select whether you want an animated image small or animated image large. I'm going to go ahead and just do a small one and I'll drag that onto my project. Now from there we can come on over to the right side and we can actually adjust the settings according to taste. So we have currently a color palette of 256. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. You can change whether it's global or local. I honestly don't know what those settings do, but people who understand these settings are probably going to get excited that that is an option. Then you can come on up to the top of the settings and find this video button and you can see the frame size is set to 428 by 240. If you want to increase that resolution, you can click there and change the resolution to whatever you like. You can also change the frame rate. Now by default, this small animated image is at 15 frames per second. I'm going to go ahead and change it over to 2398. Now there are a bunch of other options I could get into and I definitely want to create a full Apple compressor tutorial, but right now I'm just showing you how to create a GIF slash GIF. Now that we got all these settings dialed, we can come over to this center section. You'll see the location option here. If I right click, I can change the location from source over to desktop. Now currently, if you export from Final Cut Pro to the source, I would think it exports it to wherever the library is located. However, in my testing, it's been exporting it to the movies folder. So just keep that in mind when you're trying to find your file that you accidentally didn't change the location on. Now that I've changed it over to the desktop though, we can go ahead and rename it and I'll just call it portal gif small. Now all I need to do is come down to the bottom and click this start batch button. That's gonna throw it into the active setting and start exporting our GIF. While this is exporting, I wanna show you one last thing that you can do that's gonna speed up this process immensely. If we're in Final Cut Pro and find this share destination button, let's go ahead and select add destination. This time we're gonna drag over the compressor setting and in this long list, we'll just look for the motion graphics folder. You can expand that and then drag in the animated image small. We can double click that to rename it. I'll just call it GIF. And now all we need to do is go up to file, share, and select GIF anytime we want to create a GIF from directly in Final Cut Pro. It should be noted though that you do need compressor for this to work, so make sure you have compressor purchased and installed so that you can export GIFs from directly in Final Cut Pro. So that GIF we created is all done exporting. I'll push spacebar to preview it, and as you can see, it's done a fantastic job of creating a GIF from our video. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you did, you might really enjoy this video where I cover 10 things that I wish I had known as a beginner in Final Cut Pro. Thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.